Welcome back, Dragon Ball Super fans, to another deck profile video here with Chris from CTJ the San Elites. I wanted to bring out this deck profile because this deck will be changing here in about a week because of the anniversary box, and I have a very, very, very fun Android 21 deck that I want to build um, that takes some of the cards out of this deck. But I wanted to show you guys this idea that I've been trying to work on and something that I want to work on in the future because I think it can be really strong. I don't know if I'm playing it the right way, but it, it is, it, it, it's a good deck. Um, so this Android 21 leader, this is the one that plays with the tokens. And basically your front side and your back side are the same. You uh, pop a token, draw a card, and then you get to restand a blue green energy at the start of your opponent's main phase. You also get to um, um, put a one drop or uh, basically a one drop back into your opponent's hand if they have a one drop on board. Um, and you draw two when you awaken. You awaken at four life, and then you can do this again. Um, what's really nice is on your awaken turn, you can uh, draw one from this, draw two from your ability, and awaken, and then draw another one. So you draw on four cards on your awaken turn. Uh, if you guys like this deck profile, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell for all the notifications so you guys know when or whenever we are posting new content. And we'll go here into the deck. Um... The most important card is the Android 21 Scheme. Now with Zeno running around, if I were to play this at a tournament, I would probably have to sideboard at least one or two of these in. Um, but I'm not probably going to be playing this deck currently at a, uh, any events. Um, just because I have other stuff that I want to play. But this is a fun deck uh, that I think can be really competitive depending on the format. So um, just keep that in mind. This field spell basically um, start of your opponent's turn. They play two tokens that have 10k that they can swing with, and then uh, you can't play black uh, black battle cards. They go right to the drop. And the first card that you or your opponent plays on a uh, on any given turn cannot attack. Basically, has summoning sickness for that turn. So this is important. Uh, we don't run a lot of one drops in the deck that do anything. So we're not really worried about aggro or, or of our opponent trying to aggro us down because early they can't really attack with with uh, stuff. So um, we run four of the Android uh, 18s. This is our searcher. Also allows us to put a multicolor from our hand into our energy and rest mode. And um, that way we can restand it at the end of our, basically at the start of our opponent's turn. Uh, for the checkland, Android 17s. Uh, this is just for consistency purposes. This card will also be uh, ran as a four of in tandem with the new super, um, the Hell Super 17 that um, basically has no energy exhaust as well. So that's going to be a, a four of for sure with this deck. Uh, four of the Android 16s for ramping. Uh, and we'll talk about this card a little bit later, but basically you play this card out for two. Uh, if you have a multicolor blue green energy in your, in your energy, you get to ramp the top card of your deck. And then you can't play 30. The 35,000 power cards, uh, which is not a problem in this deck. But then you play uh, you play the top card of your of your energy in rest mode. So we'll keep one of those to the side. Because we'll end up talking about that card a little bit later. Three bad omens. Um, probably buy a fourth one. Maybe. But I think three is fine. I don't think you need more than three. And then uh, four Android 18 super combos. This is searchable. From the uh, the one drop, which is really cool. Uh, this makes you so your opponent bomb ducks a card. We all love hand hand control. This is also our arrival tool as well because we need the blue green energy. So, what do we arrive? What do we run for arrival cards? So, I I run a uh, two Sun Goku and Gohans. This is your two drop uh, arrival. So you uh, put a five or less battle card in your opponent's energy in rest mode, and then you um, make them pitch a card. 25k body, really, really strong card. This card's also getting printed, reprinted in the anniversary box. So anybody who doesn't have these, don't buy them yet. Just wait till the box gets printed because you have a very good chance of pulling them. And then we run da -da -da -da, three of these. The Supreme Technique Sun Goku. I know this card... A lot of people are like, what, what does this card do? <laughs> I've never played this card before. So it's a rival for one blue. And you choose two po uh, two clone tokens in your opponent's battle area. Remove them from the game. And then when you play this, your opponent pitches a card from their hand. Um, I think that's really strong. 
It obviously only works with clone decks because of that ability, but the fact that you make him pitch a card is really, really, really strong. And then, because we play this card, we can play this card out for free. So this is Piccolo Special Beam Cannon Unleashed. I, um, I've had this card forever. I've never played it. And then, when I was trying to build in this deck, I'm like, okay, I want some other hand destruction that I could use for, uh, but not having to, obviously, I'm, I'm not a green leader. I'm like, oh, this, this actually works. So when you play this card out, because it fills the requirement of a green Sun Goku with 20k power, you can play this card without paying a dynasty cost. You play it out for free. Then your active main, you get to choose one Goku in your battle area, 20k power, uh, place it on the drop, and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost two or less, ignoring barrier, KO it. If you KO it, your opponent pitches two cards, or you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So you can KO basically any card, um, any card without barrier that's two or more, or card that's 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 uh, that is you know two or less. You play this, pop this, KO it, and then they drop two cards. That's really, really strong. So for one energy, uh, you they basically drop three cards. Because <laughs> they drop a card from this. If you pop two clone tokens, and then you drop two cards from this. And then next time, you just when you rival this out again, do the same thing. Just pop it. Um, it's a blocker, so it it you know it does have some, some usefulness, but we want to just get rid of this card. There's other four-drop Gokus that you can play. Um, there's, a, there's a revival one. Um, not too keen on that card yet. I may end up playing it in a different deck, uh, but this combination is really cool. Uh, I'm going to end up running three of these if I were to play this deck, three and three. Um, it's good consistency. Uh, it also early, if your opponent's trying to just aggro you down with your tokens and you weren't able to pop a lot of them with your ability, just use this to clear off two and then you play this and then they just start pitching cards. Unison is going to be Zeno. Nope, it's going to be Golden Frieza. So this is an awesome Unison for any type of ramp strategy. I've seen a lot of people using it. One of our teammates uses it in uh, the Ginyu deck. I use it with this. The reason is you draw a card, choose a card in your hand, place it on top of your deck, and then this card gets crit. And you know what's really nice about being able to know what card's going to be on top is this card here. Because now you can just play this and then ramp that card. So you can actually make sure you're ramping the correct card you want to. Uh, which is really, really strong. Um, the minus two is really strong as well. Your opponent cannot attack with battle cards unless they choose one of their battle cards, two or more, and place it in the owner's drop area. And yes, this card does get around barrier. We did find that out because it puts the, uh, the, the effect is on the player, not on the card. So they're not actually, the player has to choose their card. Uh, you're not choosing the card, so it does get around barrier. So if your opponent has a barrier card in play, they have something else, and they swing with the big, car, you know, with their big guy, they have to choose that barrier card and pop it. Um, and that's the only card they have in play. Really, really strong. Uh, and also the crit pressure every turn is really nice for Android uh, 21 because with the leader, you're not really wanting to swing at their leader. You don't want to give them cards. So be able to play this card out and then just use that to swing at battle cards or unitons and then use this to swing at their, their leader every turn for 15 crit is really strong. Um, now there are some different color sleeves in here. So these are just being borrowed from a different deck. Um, I didn't want to change the sleeves because they're just going to go right back in. Um, so bear with me. So we have four of the charismatic villain freezes because we are running a green unison. We can play it. Um, people get confused with they, they think you can only play a particular counter unison because of your leader. It's nothing to do with leader um, energy or a leader uh, color. It's all about the unison color. Since our unison is going to be green, we can play this guy. Um, he comes out, he pops anything seven or less which then allows us to obviously play this guy, which comes on top of him. And then we, you basically remove this guy, play this guy. And now you have a 20 K instructable that just pops a card from your opponent's uh, hand every turn. And they can't remove it unless they negate its skills or they neg him to zero. So we got two of this four of those. I only run two cause I only have two um, cards way too expensive to buy any more of them. <laughs> truthfully. Um, the middle, I guess, uh, the, the mid-range part of the deck is the Super Saiyan uh, Son Goku Rose a Delicate Plan. Play him out for two colorless to KO a two or less. Or, um, and once he's on the board, you activate it for three. Kind of hard to see because of the Shatter Foil. Um, 
Pay it for three, choose a green Zamatsu, five or more in your hand, play it, and at the start of your opponent's main phase, restand one of your green energy. So you can play this guy out of your hand if you want to, or you can play um, the seven drop out of your hand. And when he comes into play, your opponent uh, pitches two cards from their hand. You choose two cards in their opponent's hand. Um, or um, you choose um, uh, two of your opponent's battle cards and put them in the drop area. They are not KO'd. Um, it's just putting them in the drop area so it doesn't activate any KO abilities. And this guy has a this guy has a 25k double strike indestructible. Um, that's really difficult to remove. Also, what's nice is with this card is because you're restanding an energy and your leader restands an energy, it's uh, like a weird Abuni effect since Abuni does the same thing. Um, actually, I was trying to fit Abuni in this deck. I don't have room, or else I would. Uh, maybe in the future we'll throw Abuni in here. But uh, three of this guy, and then three of the seven drop. Some more proxies from a different deck. Uh, three Bean. Um, for the effect of just being able to restand energy. Um, even though we, we do restand a lot of energy, a lot of our cards in, the, in this deck are 10Ks for combo. So we want to be able to have Sense of Being for that free restanding. Uh, for Bean. Ah, uh, for Bean. 4D Magic. I think this is the only negate I run in the deck. Um, the deck doesn't need a ton of negates since energy, I mean, not since, uh, you know, first battle card your opponent plays can't attack. So it does kind of put a hindrance on what they're able to do. Uh, but this will help with just being able to just negate, restand energy, sparking as well. Um, run a small package of free play cards. We run two of the Piccolos and two of the Goku Blacks. Goku Black comes out after turn five, or when you have five more energy, you can play them out for free. Uh, you can only play one out, but this guy, if you play him, he'll get, he'll get the Summoning Sickness, and then you can start attacking with the other cards you play. For this guy, you can pop a token play him out he has blocker and sort of the same thing it also fulfills our revival cost if we absolutely need to revival something out and we don't have the energy to use one of our blue greens or we don't have a super combo we can use one of each of these to fulfill our arrival requirement two of the angel rares uh this guy holds it down for the team comes in KOs a battle card so when your opponent plays a battle card, you can KO him, draw the card, use, or use Revive, bring him back, and then KO that card. You can. Um, he's, he's really, really, really strong. I, I wanted to run him as a 3 of, but I don't run uh, because I'm not a Revive deck. It just doesn't feel great to run more than 2. Maybe in the future uh, when I'll go back to playing Revive. But 2 is really, really strong. Gives you a blocker since you're going to be ramping. You can play him out probably turn, th uh, turn 4 generally uh, and then you just sit him on the board and you have this big 25k blocker that your opponent has to remove and you can ko basically any card they play bike outside my house sorry two of this for drawing per, uh, uh, purposes um tap two draw two and then ko one of your opponent's battle cards one or less um it's also uh, a good pitching target for the angel rare one absolute release ball um since we're not running blue i don't can't run the trunks but we have the we have the the freeze of counterplay so we can kill a lot of things that that, that they're going to end up playing but this is just nice for small stuff like topo and kakunsa and then uh one of the super saiyan fours uh this is good because we do have the free plays so, so we can play out a free play and then we can play this card out and then just nuke our opponent for a double strike crit triple attack 40k uh, that's really difficult to deal with. So this is my Evil Android 21 deck. Um, like I said, it uh, it will change over the course of the next week or two. Um, I may end up still playing it. I may not. Uh, it is a fun deck just because it's it's really weird and people don't really understand what you're trying to do, which is kind of the purpose of playing a card game. It's kind of get that mental game. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.